Hi everyone. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. It's one o'clock. We're in the studio. Dave, nice to meet you. This is Hannah over here. Hi. And then behind the camera we have Jeff. What's up? If at any time you have a question or a funny joke, uh, put it in the comments. Jeff will try and manage that. But we have a lot to do today. But we're, we're really organized. So we're gonna, and we need your help actually. That's the title of the video. Be well, let's just go over what we're going to do today. Kind of like a table of contents before we shoot the actual video. So come on this way. All right. Let's start right here. So first we're going to be working on, this is going to be a lamp made out of resin and wood. And we sealed this. This is just our kind of experimental mold. Hey, John. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Janine. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Hey, Thanks for coming. Wednesday at 1. So nice to have you back. We're doing our table of contents at the start. So the lamp, we're going to get into Hi, basic yeah. electrical. Hi, yeah. Lori, Tammy, Mama. Mama Z? No, is she no. on? No, There's she's... someone called Mama Z. Is that your mom? Really? No, that's not my mom. Okay. But hello, Mom. She actually uh, donated one of the projects today for us to work on. Ooh. And we'll get into that. So again, we're starting with this lamp project. We're going to get into the basics of electrical and what to work for, what to look for if you're going to do your own electrical. Then we're going to fill this up with, with uh, resin. So this will be clear, this will be wood. We'll chop it, stand it up, and put a light underneath it, and we'll have a lamp. So that's one thing we're gonna do. Hi, relaxing meditation sounds and Farida. Oh, that's what we need, some relaxing sounds. Yeah, we do. And this is gonna be our final one, after we work, troubleshoot everything. If you can see, the lamp will be like this, there'll be a light at the bottom, and it'll be just a resin rectangle. And this is our mold that we're gonna use for our final version. Um, once we learn everything we need to learn from this trial version. Hey Lisa. Hello Lisa. Then we're gonna, I just wanted to show you, we poured this, uh, we were testing some new sphere molds with a casting resin and this is perfect. A perp, so we're gonna keep researching these sphere molds because you want to find a good one that doesn't leak. Um, we have to learn about how to get rid of this ridge and still, and polish it back to shiny. So we're gonna look at that. Then, this is a piece um, in the comments uh, for the past two weeks, because we do this every Wednesday at 1, uh, so please come and, and we get all, all these projects, we get feedback from you guys and we're actually getting help troubleshooting through these projects, which is um, what I want your help with today. So this piece was made by Josie Lewis and we were sh last week we showed you how to make the little pieces. We'll pop these out and then we'll resin them in together, resin them together to make almost a coaster or something, just so you can see how this was made. Then here, last week, we were experimenting with resin on, uh, this is a brushed uh, steel, I think. And the resin sticks to metal, no problem. We learned that because there's actually pores in resin, like skin pores. On the bottom of this, one of them we covered in oil. This one covered in oil. And we, I, want, I want to see if the, drop, the drips come off really easy. Brushed aluminum. Brushed aluminum. And then this one, I was going to sand that off. So we'll, we'll see how that worked. We got a lot to do today. Now this is our charcuterie board that we're gonna pop out of this mold and take a look at how it came, how it, uh, how it turned out. Then we're gonna have a bunch of sanding to do and just finishing and polishing, but um, this was our first test with this mold made out of just a HDPE plastic. Hope it's just a normal checkup, Alexis, at the doctor's office. But oh she's, no. She's gonna join us and watch as long as she can. Okay. I hope what... Well, I won't ask any personal questions, but I hope it's going to be okay at the doctor. Yes. Nice. And a big hug from your mug. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My mom gave me this today. Thanks, mom. Well, I don't know if she gave it to me or wants me to give it back, but my grandpa, who's now passed away, made this. It's kind of tacky. Sorry, grandpa. Like, it's not, you know, but... Uh... <laughs> I think it's fantastic, <laughs> to be honest. I no, like, you know, let's launch, you know, like, no. these things, like... So good. Uh, anyways, I'm going to fill this up with art resin and we're going to use, Hannah had an idea to use these little dropper bottles to just fill this up um, without getting any on the wood. So that's going to be our plan. I probably want to take this thing off here so it can lie flat. Then we'll check in on our tele telescope that we fixed. And then this is epoxy resin mixed with essential oils to see if it makes little pucks that smell. Um, should we try that now? Oh, there's more to do. There's more to do. 
Uh, hi, Maria. And John uh, said uh, he ordered the hexagon mold, so he's going to be oh, great. the hexagon thing. That's cool. Cool. Up, John? So now, we, well, mostly Hannah and Jeff have been doing lots of experiments with drying flowers and casting them in resin. Mm -hmm. And then butterflies, how to prepare a butterfly, how to get it, the butterfly to float in the middle. So we've kind of hit some walls, and we want to talk to you about what we've done, what we've learned, and if you have any ideas for how to get a perfect butterfly in resin and a perfect flower in resin. Yeah. So we'll do that last. Cool. Is that everything? Oh, and then we're going to reveal a, straw, a strawberry. So we poured uh, two-part silicone mold-making material around a strawberry, and then cut the mold in half, took out the rotten strawberry, and then filled it with resin. So we should have a perfect resin strawberry in here. That's pretty cool. Excuse me. Why don't we just get started then? Okay, that's a lot to do. Yes. Give her. <sighs> okay, so this lamp. Casting resin, Maria. This lamp has been uh, pre-sealed with resin to kind of uh, stop, more re stop uh, air from escaping so that we can pour a th very thick cast and hope that we don't get any bubbles. So, why don't we do some math on how much resin we want to mix, and then you can start mixing that, and I'll work on the electrical. So, when you get into 3D pores, you're doing length times width times height. This is four inches by, this is a big hollow spot all the way back here. I'll say by 18 inches, our deepest point, four by 18 by four. Okay, so here's how you do the math for 3D shapes. So 4 times 18 times 4. And these are all inches. So who knows how to do this math? Siri? Uh, calculators, dude. Oh, man. See, I haven't had, so 8, 8 times 4, 16. What's 8 times 4, 32? Is 8 times 4, 32? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, it's not. Eight times, eight, 18 eight eight times, times four. four. 32, yes. Yeah, 32. I can't do this math in my head. Four times one is four plus three is 72. So 72, 72 yeah. times four. four. We're going to need a calculator for this. Is it 288? Eight times two. Eight times four. No, it's 148. Oh, 148. No, because times four. Four times seven is what? 288. 288. Me and John, yeah. 288. Thank you, everyone. Rebecca's 128. John's 288. I'm with John on this one, I think. So 288 inches Wait. cubed. Yes. 18 times 4 is 72. Yes. Yes. Times, yes. times, times 4 is 288. Four. It's 288. <laughs> we got 216. We got all the numbers all over the place. Okay. Uh. So this is what you do to turn inches cubed into ounces. You times your number, you times length times width times height times 0.55. And then there's like a four and a three, but I just round it to 0 0.55. So if you want to just do um, art math, we'll call it, I know that if it's 0 0.5% is 144, right? Mm. But I need a bit more than that, so let's make it 150. It's good enough, okay? Boom. So that's 150 ounces to fill this thing. That's full, yeah, like a f yeah. if you want to fill the entire thing empty. No, no, because I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't measure oh, the whole thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're just going to make this much. Okay. So can you do 100 ounces of resin and 50 ounces of hardener for yeah. the casting? Oh, that's nice, actually. Okay. That works out well. Yeah, so that worked out very well. Okay, so while Hannah's beginning to stir and mix, we're going to get into the basics of electrical and what we're doing for our lighting. Um, what I ended up doing was going to Home Depot, and there were many options of square pot lights. See, so pot lights that are squares. I took off this white rim around it, and what I have is just this part. That's the LED light, and there's a little piece that goes, a diffuser that goes on top. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can just buy these pieces. Do you see? For a lamp, you just need one of these. And again, just that any um, in the electrical section, they're quite common, these things. And you pop it open here, see? And then you put your cables in there, which I've already done on this one. And this is just called lamp wire. You buy it in the same, same section. So I just got lamp wire. And so this is just your most basic cable. Mm -hmm. Hook it up to the back. 
plug it in. Jeez. Ah, Come on now. What's going on? I don't like that. See? Oh. Nice. But I'm going to go one step further and there weren't too many options, but I'm going to add a dimmer switch to this. Oh, no. um, so what I'll do, and I'm just going to do this a really rough, I'll make it look nicer later, but just cut it. You have your, when I was growing up, my favorite tool were these wire cutters. You ever seen these? Yeah, yeah. I use it all the time, mostly for like hooking up speakers and stuff. So find about the right size, go like this and shoot it off into space. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, great tool. Like this, shoot it off into space. Twist them up, twist them up. So I'm just gonna put, basically put this dimmer switch, I'm gonna interfere with this line. Just, just kind of jam it in there. I'm gonna unplug it first. That's all you do? So I don't die, yeah. This isn't quite, the, this isn't as pretty as I was going to do it. I'll, I was kind of had limited options. Oh, thanks for taking that off, uh, Hannah. Oh, and uh, okay, so I want to cut through just one half, just half. Yeah, we've unplugged it. Everything's unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look at that. See, you have these grooves. Just pull it into your knife. And again, this is just a very ugly job. You can make you can make your wires look very nice. But I just want to show you the basics of lamp wiring. Very easy. Yeah. yeah. Twist it up. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to get some wire twists and my coffee. How is everyone out there? Everybody's doing good. Some questions. Uh, we want to get art resin in Nigeria and Ooh. South Africa. Ooh. So Rebecca, yeah, I was just messaging. Yeah, to contact us at sales at artresin.com. Yeah, we'd love to get there. Help us get in there. It's a, we're from Canada. Our product's made in the USA, in Texas. And every country is really complicated. So we would love to get our product there. Thank you for asking. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, was it? And people are just asking the difference. Uh, people are, are wondering what the difference is between art resin and a casting resin. Okay, yes. Well, we're putting together a beautiful chart showing the differences between the two of them because there are, there are uh, two main differences. So this, let me just finish this electrical thing, okay? Yep. Yeah, we'll come back to it, guys. Yeah. Let me just finish this. I need this to work. Then we can kind of close this chapter. Who would have thought you'd be doing electrical work? Hey, it's all part of uh, being creative. And again, this is the, I feel like this is the cure for COVID, for the COVID blues, is you just find stuff, just tinker, just tinker, you know? There's a lot of reward in just kind of doing something and yeah. making something. No, I made this a bit long. Again, you, you take your time and you can make this very pretty. Your wiring can be very pretty. And I will do that for our final one. I just wanted to make sure it worked. Okay, so again, this is a simple LED pot light with the end that you buy. And then I interfered the electrical current. See, we kind of interfered in there with a stimmer switch. John's so, asking us to tape over the wire nuts just to secure it. After you place yeah, this is, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna take time and make it a lot prettier. I just wanted to get it work. I'll, I'll use some actual white tape so you won't even see it. See lights on, and look at that. We got a dimmer in there, see? Oh, hold let's see, oh yeah, look at that. Right. So we'll put this to the side, and we'll fill up this lamp. I'll leave this here just buzzing for fun. Wow. Okay, let's check that off the list. Wow. Where's our list? That would have literally okay. taken me all day. Just to <laughs> read the instructions five times, then do it five times. Like, right? yeah. like, okay, so here, with wood lamp, we're done. We showed the other mold, so we're just going to pour that wood lamp. So that's on, we have, we're going to pour three things today. One of them is our lamp. Nice. We're so organized. We showed the perfect globe with casting resin. Yeah. 
Why don't we talk about the differences between casting resin right now? Okay. And uh, I'll find a piece of paper and a marker, and I'll make a uh, chart. Okay. Oh, you need muscles. Muscles. I'll be right there. Okay. Here come muscles. I'll just get right in on these pipes here. <coughs> oh, whoa. No, it's totally right. We probably put the wrong lid on the wrong one. Yeah, they're oh, both no. like that. So there's an easy fix. It's called uh, an X-Acto knife. Just do this. <laughs> just cut it off because there's no way you're ever getting that off. See? Boom. All right, you can play with that. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we're going to make a chart. Chart together. time. Casting resin versus art resin. Or you can say a coating resin versus a casting resin. Okay. So, where's a good place to do it, Jeff? So you can see this. Uh, yeah, that's good. Like this? Yep. So they're going to one side here. Okay, here we go. Rebecca's rolling her eyes. She's rolling her eyes. Your solution, I think, to cutting off the caps. <laughs> oh. So let's say um, art resin. This is a coating. And then we'll say is a casting. What's a TC stand for? I, I don't know. <laughs> Coating, coating versus casting, or thin versus thick. Pores, yeah. Thin versus thick, okay? All right. Coating versus casting. So why are there two different things? Like they look the exact same. There's two reasons why there are different things. The first one is tempera temperature, and the second one thing is bubbles, okay? So for, if you were to pour art resin thin, it would cure no fine and, and stay perfectly clear. If you, if you were to pour art resin thick, when the chemical reaction happens, it would get too hot, it could even start smoking, and it could discolor. It could turn yellowy mm. because it got too hot. It actually started burning, mm. right? So, thin would be, uh, what is it, three? Let's say an eight to a quarter eight to of an three inch. And a quarter of an inch. I mean, you could do thicker, but in general. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, and it's a 24 hour cure time. Now, let's say you want to pour a casting resin really thick. You can do that, but you have to wait a lot longer because the chemical reaction happens slower so it doesn't generate an, as much heat. Make sense? Yep. Okay. So, that's the one thing. The difference is cure time. You could pour a casting resin in a thin coat, but it would still take you 72 hours to cure because it's going really slow so it doesn't get too hot, okay? Good. That's one thing. The second thing is bubbles. I mean, in the end, the goal is to get something that's solid and perfectly clear with no bubbles. That's what we're, we're aiming for. So for a coating resin, again, if you have a thin coat, your bubbles... Hey, Rachel. Your bubbles don't have much time to get to the top and they can pop. If you have a thick coat, your bubbles take a bit longer mm. and then they can get stuck because you only have 24 hours. Right. So one way to make the bubbles, okay. One way to make the bubbles rise faster is to have a thinner, a less, less viscous, viscous yeah. or more viscous, more, more like more water. Viscous, yeah. This is more like water. This is more like a syrup. So a, a coating resin is more like a syrup, and if you go thick, if you pour it thick, the bubbles can't escape. A casting resin is more like water, and if you pour it thick, the bubbles can escape easily. Okay? So the, so the, the chemistry is different because it's a slower cure so it doesn't heat up, and it's a thinner formula so all the bubbles can escape. Does that make sense? Wow, boom. So if you were to pour a casting resin on a surface, it would spread out really thin too because it's more like water than like a syrup that stays thick. Does that make sense? So there are big differences in the chemistry. They look the same, but there's big differences. But we'll get more into that and we'll learn more about that. But when you get into casting resin, it opens up a whole other world of things that you can do with resin. Okay, that's done. Let's check it off our list. Good question, casting resin. So why don't we do this uh, Josie Lewis heart? I'm going to put some more gloves on. Mm -hmm. And we can pop these out. 
Can you Good. pour casting resin in layers? Yes. Oh, and yeah, you can pour casting resin in layers or you can pour it all at once. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that the beauty of casting resin is you don't have to do layers. And actually, that's a good segue into things like casting things to sit in 3D space. For example, let's show. Um, so if you were to do, this is a butterfly that's as an experiment of floating in 3D space. The process was to pour, if you can see from the side, pour half of it, put the butterfly in, pour the other half. But you can see a line, right? Yeah. But if you can suspend it and do it all at once. There's no line. There's no line. So that's the beauty of casting resin. It's more about planning to do it all in one pour. And it all depends on the look, I guess. If you want it suspended, then you've got to come up with a creative way of mm -hmm. floating it in there without it uh, floating to the top or the bottom. Yeah, that's why we need your help. Because we're having a hard time with some of this stuff. But we're figuring it out. Very good question, Zeke. Do you want to answer that, Rebecca? Okay. That's a lot of resin, wow. Holy cow. That's a lot of water. Wow, what are we doing today? Look at that. Maybe our math is that is the wrong. 150? Yes. Maybe. No. Yes. Our math might be wrong. We'll see what happens. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pop out these uh, Josie Lewis inspired hexagons from this silicon mold ice cube tray from Amazon. There's lots of different options. This isn't something that we sell. We sell the resins and the colors and the torches and the. Yeah, you can make this with resin and the, and the color tints. But you do need to get the horizontal molds, if that's the shape you want. But this is what Josie Lewis made, and it looks awesome. Yeah. Especially when you go with the kind of the 3D effect of some are different heights, right? Here, I'm going to get this out of here. I'll put it here. Boom. So. All right. So these will just pop up. Oh, they have them at the dollar store, these molds. Cool. Really? Nice top tip, Maria. Thank you. Oh, Maria with the tip of the day. Boom. Maria, we'll send you a free duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> we have duffel bags. Why don't I have... I you have to have a good tip. Oh. Maria, please send, put your uh, address in the comments. Oh, ice cube trays, she's saying. Yeah. Hmm. Some of these are popping up really easy. Some of these are fighting me. Oh, look at that. It's got like kind of the, there's the pearls kind of effect there. A little shimmy shine. Uh, casting resin is a two to one ratio, Zeke. Yeah, it has to be. We tried so hard to make it one to one. We yeah. tried everything and everything and everything. It just wasn't working. Okay. Come on. Yeah. I mean, this is a sign of a mold that's been used almost too much. See how it's sticking? Oh, yeah. That means your mold's getting old and it'll start ripping. But this or you've torched it as well, right? So if you, yeah. if you torch your resin in a mold, you definitely lose the life of it and it could stick to your little pieces. Okay. So how we made this heart is we got a piece of... Um, Still food safe. Yeah, food safe. We got a piece of a whiteboard that it didn't stick to. And we kind of tacked all these pieces down in place and then just poured resin over top of it to stick it all together. Mm. So what I'm thinking of doing with these is just kind of making a nice pattern in here. Okay, and then coating it? And then just coating it and then making coasters out of these. And that's, you know, it's similar to the way that we did that. I mean, you could just leave them sitting out here on top of this uh, plastic sheeting mm -hmm. and just resin them all together here. Okay. How many more? All right. Look how clear that is though, it's so nice. Yeah, look at that. That is casting resin clear. I don't even see bubbles in this one. This is crazy too. Look at you, nice stirring, man. Nice stirring. Bada boom. And how long do you stir for? Three minutes. Bada boom. <laughs> okay, it's hot in here, eh? Whew. Our air conditioner broke. It is, a, yeah. This is, we had them in, like, what, a month ago? Yeah. We've been in here, sweating away. Sweating away. Right? <laughs> well, you're wearing a sweater today. What's up with that? I'm used to it. I'm in here every day. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. 
All right, so that's mixed. We can pour the uh, lamp. Okay. You want to oh, fight yeah. with these, Anna? Pardon? Want to yeah. fight with these? Okay. You probably want gloves. It's it got some resin on it by accident. Darlene from Montreal is here. Hey, Darlene. Can't find resin tint? Well, order from us if you can't find it uh, in the stores. Oh, really? You said it's sold out everywhere. At, uh, in Montreal, would that be um, Desairs? What's up, San Diego? We are Canadian. What's up, Dixon? Yeah. I think, is it Desairs that's uh, in Montreal? Yeah, is that I think big? So. They should have lots. Yeah. I hope. If not, let us know. Contact us. Sales at our resin. Um, what was the last thing you said? Uh, hmm. blah, 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 blah. I can't remember. It was so long ago. Yeah. Oh, asked for from Canada. Yeah, we're yes. we're an hour west of Toronto, in a in a place called Waterdown. Mm. Yep. And she, I uh, think she said she was from California. From okay. Why don't we look at this? The series quick. is sold out. What? Oh wow. Okay. What's going on? So, this one has silicone oil on the bottom. Yep. Oh, and they're popping off. Mm. Not really. I'm just using a plastic tool. Well, I figured that the oil would repel it and I mm -hmm. wouldn't have to try very hard. No, that's good, but one did. Well, barely. I, no, this wasn't a good idea. No. And now I got an oily bottom. So oil doesn't work on the bottom. I just don't know how to tape the bottom of these, you know? Yeah, as you say, yeah, it's oily now too, so it's kind of messy. But that's aluminum and uh, alcohol ink. It looks really good though. Yeah, and I think the key is you all, if you're going on metal, you always want to leave some of the metal exposed because the resin makes the metal uh, glimmer. How do you get this, these little circle patterns in? Um, I think that just happened organically with the alcohol ink. Just by pouring the different colors? Yeah. That's cool. And look at these ones, I didn't put any oil. And that one popped off nicely. Mm. But yeah, again, I'm using a plastic spreader. Okay, anyways, so see how it just makes the metal? And you can pour on any like unsealed metal will, art resin will, will just stick to it, which is great to know. Done! Yes, but yes, we do recommend taping the underside. Okay. As people are, are mentioning, and uh, your cure time is 45 minutes. You have, well, the working time, sorry, working time, time is 45 minutes. Okay, here goes. Oh, what are we doing? Hold on, we're pouring everybody, this is so exciting. Okay, I want a good shot here. You gonna pour here and then come down? Yeah. No, okay, so this is a lamp. You've probably seen a lot of these thick casting Lance where it's wood mixed with resin. So this is what we're creating here, but. And we're gonna have to do some ma uh, machine work after I'll run, run the edges clean with a table saw and then polish it back. We'll sand it and then polish it back to life. Oh, so. I'm gonna try and get that lathe down here for you too. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to play with the lathe. All right, here it goes. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, we didn't do any caulking on the inside because we're just kind of rushing everything to test stuff. Um, but next time we would, we taped out the outside with tape. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this doesn't leak out. All right. Here goes. Here we go. Very exciting. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Can go all the way up. I would go all the way up because remember we see a little bit of shrinkage, right? Sometimes oh, I keep doing this. I put on these cloth gloves. Oh, you undercoat. forgot to put the thing. Oh. I'm just gonna yeah. go wash my hands. Sorry, I just got soaked in resin. Look at that. Okay, so Dave just poured the casting resin into the mold here. So once again, 72 hours for casting resin to cure, and then we can remove the sides. And because it's submerged in there, we'll probably end up sanding or cutting, I guess, right? The edges? Yeah. And uh, to get, so that you can see both the wood and the resin and uh, the whole goal, just like this piece over here, this is what's so cool about this one, is you got this really funky look on the inside. So if you can get a nice clear cast, you can see and admire the wood on the inside and also, but still have a solid piece. Okay. And then we're gonna attach the light to the bottom and the light will shine up through the wood and you have a really cool lamp. Great. So we continue to do this double glove method. Oh yeah. Because we're so sweaty up here. So the double glove method is cloth glove mm -hmm. covered with the latex gloves. Yeah. And then you swap out the latex and you don't get sweaty, you don't get sweaty hands. Yeah, because it's impossible to put a second pair of latex gloves on afterwards. And you get so messy when you work with resin. 
especially when you're rushing. <laughs> so how is everyone though, really? Like, or do we not want to talk about the world right now? No, Everything's well, fine. Them, like, how about, yeah, why don't we ask them to send us a positive, give us a... Something good's happened, Something right? good. Tell us something, like, tell us a story that's good. A short one that I can read out quickly. Yeah. I got a puppy two days ago, and I'll bring her in next week. Very good question. Oh, yes. Summer, we got to see the puppy yeah. next week. Uh, thickness of the casting resin. How thick can you pour? Well, how, for, for, this was four inches. I mean, our literature says three inches. Uh, but I'm going to be doing bigger and bigger experiments, thicker and thicker. Like, I want that, so th three inches to be safe. Three inches is recommended. And then but there's things you can do to make it thicker. Okay. Let's take this off. So I've never used these molds before. It's made by a company called Makers Reusable Molds. And instead of making your old mold, mold out of wood and tape and screws, the idea is that you can just reuse these. Oh, smart. So I've never done this before, and I'm very excited to see how it works. But if this works, it saves, and you want to get into making coffee tables or charcuterie boards or any type of table. So in Schoenberg, they're, uh, we're all good on restaurants, been to restaurants and they're very careful and clean. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. You can go into restaurants again. Hey Naomi from West Africa, so cool. Wow, People West from Africa. from around the world, that's amazing. West Africa. Well, welcome. Us Canadians are happy to have you in our workspace. A rainbow ended in my yard and I got cool pics and videos wow. of it happened on my eight year wedding anniversary. Wow. Nice. So a rainbow in your yard. That's cool. What kind so, of puppy did you get Lisa McNeil wants to know? Oh, a, a golden retriever. We just knew what, what we're getting. She's so sweet. I just love her so much. So cute. Yeah. Uh, what ha oh, we, we kind of touched upon it. what happened with the essential oils. In the oh, we haven't looked at it yet. Okay, we'll, touch, we'll come back to that yeah. after we're... Good question. But Hannah had a great point. Like, we don't want to encourage people to be like sniffing up their, <laughs> their work while it's wet, you know? So sniff after it's cured. A healthy tip. Uh, tip. Hey, Antoine, so you want me to, she wants me to read something. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, we missed it. Missed it. Okay. This is cool. It probably would be nice if I had a little rubber mallet, but I don't, so I'll try my fist. Okay. So you've taken off. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Easy. I even hit that too hard. That's good news, Charlie. I'm very happy that you got some uh, birthday molds. She's going to be resonating soon. Very good. Wow, birthday that came molds. off like no problem. Can I see? Yeah. Look at it in there. Look at it, totally clean. Wow, clean edge. Just popped right off. Okay. Let's see that. Ah! That's it. That's insane. Okay. Wow. This grandpa piece. Here's a grandpa piece. We like the grandpa piece. Grandpa. Looks good. Okay, so we got two sides off. Three sides. Three sides off. Now this one, it wasn't going quite as easy. There we go. Good. Zack the Destroyer. Now, about this <laughs> bottom part. Oh yeah, what's the deal there? What should we do? Let's see. What should we do to get that off? Mm. I'm sure there's some like... Okay, we gotta pry something in there. What could I pry in there, Jeff? Hmm. Should I go get a chisel? That's what I'm thinking, probably... I just saw a chisel. Mm. Yep, YFL Art says chisel. Okay. What advice can you give to beginners? Oh, man. Oh, tons. Um, what advice can you give to beginners? Um, There's a video uh, where we work with somebody that did Allison. She did a beginner. Uh, we have that on YouTube. Allison what? Uh, remember Allison? She came and she did her um, Muskoka art. What was her name? Allison something. Allison. Oh. Oh, dude, that came off so. Look at that. Okay, sorry. Let's, let's just focus on this for a second here. It's kind of interesting. Nice. And all this wow. is the silicone around the edges. Wow. So I'm going to sand the heck out of it. Oh, let me see through the side here. Look at that. Oh. Uh, we got some bubbles. We didn't pre-seal that wood. That was the oh, problem. Oh, yes. Well, but, yeah, this was just a straight pour. We never pre-sealed the yeah, wood. Yeah, we didn't so pre-seal the wood. But in terms of bubbles, 
Uh, yeah, it's there's actually... a bit right on the edge, but it's not too, too bad. Wow, we'll sand the heck out of it. Really That's nice it. contrast with the brown background, too, with that sandy background. It actually works out nice, eh? I'm not sure. You're not a fan? Yeah. I don't know. What does everybody else think? It's weird. <laughs> but this, is, this was yeah. sand, right? We put sand on here? Yeah, there's silica sand on there, and yeah, then we yeah. made the color. Oh, it pops, man. The wood okay. really pops. Well, I'm going to take this home and just sand the heck out of it. Thanks, everybody. It's a lot of, lot of great comments. Yeah? People are really liking it, dude. All right. Okay, right so there. you're going you're to take that home and you're going to sand it? Yeah, I'm going to sand it, clean the edges, polish it. Wow. Okay. Nice. Good. We can check like a couple a things off the list. Leaf or something. A what? It looks like a teardrop leaf or something. What type of silicone do you recommend to seal edges? I'm. Um, I'm just doing some research on silicone right now, actually, and I'm trying to find the one that's the least stinky and the safest. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can use almost any type of silicone you want. Like uh, the best ones are for bathrooms because um, it's smoother. So any smooth um, silicone. And really, almost anyone, you just cut the tip very small so that it's a very fine bead. You don't need very much silicone. You're just getting it in the edges. So, Okay, so we'll clean this up and do another one. Great. So yeah, so you've just used it, so now you just put it together. I'll just wash the heck out of it somehow. Put it back together and I'll, I'll try another one. Amazing. Wow, that's really okay, good. Okay, and look at our wood. How's it looking? Oh yeah. My feet are covered in resin, my arms covered in resin, my hands covered in resin. My whole life. So it is going into the wood, because see how it's gone down quite a bit? Right? Yeah. yeah. And now we can see, because we can see the top here, so we... But lots of bubbles are, are just releasing quickly, eh? Yeah, they're coming right see, up. See, what I was saying about casting resin, look how thin it is. It's like water. Wow. And that's why the bu any bubble coming out of the wood down there, or that's stuck underneath, is coming up very fast. Yeah, and you can see them just popping. They're coming up and popping, coming up and yeah. popping. And that's why having the thin viscosities allows it to the bubbles to escape. That's great. Yep. Okay, let's cross some things off. So we tell, someone is asking how you clean hands. I'm just going to show this product, Dave. I guess. Yeah. This is what we've used to uh, to get rid of the stuff on your hands. You kind of just put it on your hands dry. Uh, go go natural. I'm not sure what that is, but there you go. There's yeah. something. Anyways, it's got like an exfoliant kind of or a little. That's the stuff they use in automotive shops for getting grease off their hands. Mm. Um, it's usually orange flavored, but in the States, I saw you can get it in lemon and cherry. Oh. In Canada, you can only get orange. Okay, so how are we doing over here? Got lots in here. Yes, we do okay. recommend sealing the wood first, 100%. So you want to do something and then... Sure. Yeah, just make, make like one pretty design or something and then we'll just fill it up with uh, resin. Cool. Oh, there you go. You got pop nice. Okay, Ooh, so that's the Josie Lewis heart thing. Aluminum oil on bottom. So oil was a big failure. Okay, let's do the essential oils. All right, that was a question. Yeah. Okay, so what we did last week is we have um, pucks. These two pucks have 10 drops plus some yellow tint, but 10 drops of a lemon essential oil. These two pucks have 20. These two have 30. These two have... 40-ish. So, and I also want to feel them to feel if it feels oily at all. So, let's get these out of here. Ooh, the molds. Ooh. Look at the molds getting destroyed these with it. really old. It's either an old mold or like the essential oil is making the mold rip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that one's oh, okay. Yeah. So that's a 30. Anything? No, big fail. Because you got 30, 30 essential oil drops in there? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. It's hard as a rock. Hmm. Well. Try the 40. Okay. So essential oils in resin, the, the scent disappears. Do you smell anything? No. I... Maybe a hint. Yeah, like I'm, I'm yeah. searching for it. Like if I'm truly smelling that, I'm not smelling anything. Okay, I would say essential oils is a fail. Fail! And I don't think we want to recommend that anyways. Okay, I'm going to cross that off. No essential oils. Too bad. Don't bother. No scented resin. Okay, we're doing great here. We can do colorful. So we, last week we fixed this uh, telescope that I found at an uh, uh, antiques market. And it was, I was just using the resin to fix it. 
And I often do that. I've done it like if one of my, uh, you know, if a, a pair of work boots or like rain boots, if the heel starts coming off, I just resin it, nice. tape it up. I mean, it's just the strongest glue in the world, so. I did like two uh, coffee mugs on the handle broke off. Oh. One of them's here at the, uh, that we, really? the blue one. Okay. We did a very famous Lego. A Lego, video. yeah. Do you remember our Lego Batman video? The stop motion Lego, yeah. Yeah, three and a half years ago. Check that out online, everybody. It's Dave and Jeff mucking around with Lego stop motion. Top motion Lego resin? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Well, mostly he's talking about just how strong resin is as a glue. Yeah. Yeah, because what was it at the end of uh, the, the Lego movie? The Craigle or whatever. Craigle, yeah, because it was uh, super crazy good. glue with, the, yeah, there's like missing. So I was thinking we could sell art resin to parents to, to uh, destroy their kids' Lego with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why use Kragle when you can use art resin? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this worked just great. Actually, it didn't. After I did it last week, it fell off and Hannah had to redo it. Oh, you revealed the secret. Yeah. We were rushing. So we were just rushing. Everything's a rush. But we don't have to rush. Because my mom is watching the kids and the puppy. Oh, so your mom wouldn't even be online, probably. Eh? No, my mom's not watching live, so thank you, mom, for watching the kids. Mom. She made a batch of homemade pickles and didn't even bring me any. Oh. I know, she sent me a picture of her making homemade pickles. Oh. And then comes over today without yeah, any. I don't know, I mean, that's... Uh, she knows I like pickles. Easy yesterday to put together a model metal plane. Nice, Laura. Out of a model metal plane. That's cool. That sounds like a fun job. I want to do models, I think. I like, yeah, like, models oh. are fun, hey? Yeah. It's different than Lego. I do like Lego, though. Yeah. Are you a Lego guy? Not lately. No? But yeah. Okay. No pickles for you, says Season of the Witch. <laughs> okay, so last thing I'm going to do to finish this telescope project is hopefully find a piece of sandpaper. Look at that, sandpaper. Boom. Quickly scuff it up, and then I'm gonna just paint over it with some acrylic paint. And this is going up on a high shelf in my house as a decoration to remind myself. Wait, so it's done? So we got the, yep. what was it, right here? Yeah, this, that whole piece fell off. Okay, cool. So you're gonna sand off the little residue and then paint it, and there you go. Yep. Oh. And just normal acrylic paint. Going right at it. I should have got this done. I got stuff to do, you know? Mm -hmm. I gotta place it to be. I have a puppy I gotta go play with. I got chickens, and the puppy's chasing the chickens, and the chickens are chasing the puppy. How many chickens do you have? Six chickens. Six chickens, and they lay how many eggs? One a day. So you got six eggs a day. Oh, wow. It's so good. That's sweet. Yeah. And then the cats don't like the, dog, the puppy. Oh, boy. It's stressful. You got cats, chickens, a dog? Yep. Do you have a fish or a hamster or anything? No. Nice. <laughs> you didn't get enough going. I'd want to get another dog though. It's my first dog ever. I've never had a dog before. But I kept like reading books, like even like self-help books or like, like feel good books. And almost all of them say you should get a dog. Get a dog. It okay, makes, well, it makes you happy. Everybody else is agreeing that they want to see the, you got to bring Summer in. Okay, sorry. Summer in next week. I wanted to today, but my mom was coming over and she wanted to be with her, so. Hmm. Season of the Witch really does not want you to have pickles. Why? <laughs> I think she's just having fun. <laughs> but. But my, oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah? Where you get the pickle seasoning mix and then you dump it, spread it out and you gotta pick out certain spices that you don't wanna be in there. It's really? Very, oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it's taken very seriously by the Polish community. Okay, so pickles, if, if it's sitting there in front of you on the table, you can have a pickle or cottage cheese. Oh, don't do this, Jeff. <laughs> what are you taking? I don't know. Oh, man. But I know there's a community of people that are obsessed with cottage cheese out there. Yeah? Yeah. Are you one of them? Yeah. 
I want, I'm trying to uh, like start like an online community, we sell cottage cheese merchandise, <laughs> cottage cheese t-shirts and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, look at that. Now every day we'll be reminded. <laughs> Your wife is like, nobody is obsessed with cottage cheese. <laughs> We did, Laura, we just looked at them and it was kind of like we were disappointed in the essential oil. Yeah, the essential oil. They don't smell like essential oils at all, unfortunately. But it cured fine. Look at this. Now, we'll always remember to reach for the stars. Right, Jeff? Absolutely. To reach the stars, we've got to conquer the clouds. Yeah. Something like that. Exactly. Just made that up. Okay, let's get to our checklist. Telescope fix, check. I have to pour my grandpa's piece of wood. Cottage cheese with a pot pie. Oh man. What do you mean? I don't know, but pot pie I love. That's interesting. What kind of pot pie? I don't know. We gotta hear more about that one. Okay. Sorry, go on. What's next? Um, so what's next? Why don't we just we have all this leftover casting resin. Mm -hmm. Um we'll pour it in those molds. Do you think they'll float? Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, they might. Well, why don't we pour one, see if it floats? Okay. And then the other one, if it does, we'll just pour a thin layer to hold it down and then we'll do the full layer. Okay, so we poured the lamp. Yes, we learned how to do length times width times height times 0 0.55 to convert inches cubed into ounces. Yes, we're gonna make a really good calculator for that. At artresin.com slash calculator, we have the normal one, but we're developing one for casting. Nice. Okay, so that pyramid will fill something up. Oh, over here, sorry. Pyramid. Oh, we still have lots to do. Poor grandpas. Okay, so what on earth is going on in here? So this so look. is... Yes, John, yeah, we're going to do a calculator for rounds. People are asking for Yeah, that. rounds too. So, you know what? The salt, we also added some other stuff in it, but it, it really made it look foggy, hey? Putting salt in resin made Let's it see. look very foggy. It made it opaque almost, oh, yeah. hey? Yeah. All right. Salt. There you go. Oh, and I wrote down in the comments there were some other things to try and try out. So, we're going to try old lace. I can't find any old lace. We're also going to try... There's food coloring gel. Someone was asking. Gel. Oh, these questions have you asking? These are questions, yeah. And okay. the last one was... Um, they said dyed... So I think colored, colored rock salt. So we'll, we'll do those things. If anyone has, has any other ideas, let us know. All right. So we're, um, Hannah, you had an idea to use droppers to fill this up. Yeah. Where are those? Um, bottom. Okay. So these ones? Yeah. Oh, the woods are right there. I want to build the woods. Okay, cool. These are great little purchase. Yeah, nice. Pouring into smaller little holes. Yeah, get the, yeah. I'll get you a little pin. Okay. It's leaking a lot? Oh, nice. Okay. What should we do? Keep topping it up. I don't know if we can fix it now. Oh, thank you. Um, what do we do? We got a big leak. Like, all that's going to leak out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Should have used the silicone. Yeah, we should have siliconed it. Well, we'll put in some sort of box or something, or maybe one of those tubs. All right, so I guess we're, we're going to let you guys know that we did tape the sides, but always recommend, no matter what, to silicone the inside of your box, because the reason why we're actually using it is coming out unfortunately at the bottom. Yeah. Think it'll fit in here? Yeah. Mm, uh, maybe like inside. vertically? Yeah, try that. So we're going to try and save it right now. <laughs> Make you okay. <laughs> here, can you hold it like right here? Okay, I need gloves again. Is that gonna fit in there? We're Wait, gonna try it on diagonal. Wait, here, may as well check this first. Mm, just barely won't. Oh my gosh. That's We're so cool. close. Uh, so, so close. Is this sucker? Okay. Here you go. So, there, that's why you should use silicone. All right, it's gonna be heavy. Just sit on the ground or something. Okay. 
Well, that well we can look at it as an expensive seal. Yeah. That should hopefully seal it all. That'll seal it for sure. And uh, yeah, so lesson learned. Don't shortcut it. Use the silicone and then you'll have a nice, well, then you'll see because the result you get when you do use the silicone and put it in the box, then you get that, right? A nice clean edges, perfect pour. Uh, Dave's going to fix that one up, but this one will okay. we'll probably return to it next week, guys. Um, Henry, you want to try and fill up that little bottle? What's a good way to do that? Hot glue all edges, says so creative. I guess. Okay. Oh, boom. Are this we looking at that floating at all? Or? Tiny bit. A couple of them are floating a little bit. Maybe it's okay if they float. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a look. Anyway. Yeah. That's cool. Right. Okay. All right. Now what? Sorry. Oh, let's open the strawberry. Yes. Ooh, the strawberry. This okay. is so exciting for some reason. Okay, so there's no non-sticky spot in this whole building. Everything is sticky. Okay, we have high hopes for this because of the te texture the strawberries have. Yeah. Let's see what we get. And the test ones were really cool. So this was a strawberry, a real strawberry was made with the mold making and then we poured And we did this last casting. week. Oh, and this is where I did the, uh, the dark red last week. Oh. Is right. that? Yeah. Oh, right, it's amazing. Uh, not enough. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's like oh, a real wow. strawberry. It turned out kind of the real color. That look does that. look like a real strawberry. I didn't fill it up enough. Yeah. Oh, so you have to top it up more. Yeah. So look cool. at that. That's so cool. Wow. Wow. That looks real. Okay, while we're on this, let's show some other fruit. That is cool. Look at that. Like that. If you put, mm -hmm. if that was sitting right there, like my kids would just grab that and try and eat it. Mm -hmm. Look at the detail. That's really good. Yeah. Wait, why don't we look at these? Badass strawberry. So we're having some problems. This is a, this is a pear. And if you oh. feel it, it feels like a real pear. It took the texture of a pear. Wow. And then same with this banana. Wow. This one doesn't feel as real as this one. That is crazy, mm -hmm. the texture on it, because it's just... Yeah. I'm trying to get the... So you can and Hannah, have these it. been re-poured here? So you can right. see the These have been re-poured over here? here? So yeah. like, here, here's the cool oh, nice. thing. Oh, that butterfly This is what you buy great. in the store, right? That one's with you get a nice pear shape, oh, perfectly amazing. smooth, things like that, where you can buy it. But like, if you're able to cast it... Yeah. You get a the real organic shape of a pear. That that's so... so that's, I love it. That's so good. Okay, so why don't we talk about our problems? Here's one thing we need help with. Yeah. So, there are bubbles in the silicone mold. Um, so we've, these are the molds over here. We filled them with color. We're, going, we're doing a gold pear and a yellow banana right now. Um, but on the inside of the silicone are a bunch of bubble marks. And we're thinking that the silicone is reacting with the organic uh, fruit. And so these bubbles aren't actually bubbles in the resin. They're bubbles in the silicone. That's our problem. So we don't know if we need to pre-seal the fruit. Mm -hmm. Pre-seal the fruit in order to cast it so that it doesn't, we just don't know. So if you have any suggestions, we're gonna keep trying to do this until we get perfect. Um, I kinda wanna just, I'm just gonna dip this in, some of this, and look at that already. Look at that, it's clear again, hey? Oh wow, let me see. Look at that. Okay, see, it was just cloudy and now, yeah, put, yeah. if you coat it in resin, your mold always takes the texture of the object you're duplicating. So a banana is naturally kind of this color. But then if you put clear resin on it, it becomes transparent. Okay, we'll leave that right look at that. where? In that direction. There. <laughs> See that? Look at that. Right through it. Cool. That's that awesome. That is cool. So you could essentially have like your own ice sculpture of fruit. Yeah. Okay, that's ridiculous. 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 All right, what other molds do Love we have it. in here? I'm just gonna try one thing. Uh oh. I just want to dip half. I want to dip half this pear in this to see. Here we go. I just want to see if when when this cures, if the bottom part of the pear will just completely disappear. You know what I mean? Oh. And see, the best thing that we're doing here, guys, is we're experimenting. So, by the way, we understand that not everybody can just do a lot of experimenting. Send in your ideas. Dave wants to experiment with all this stuff. 
Come up with new ideas. How so can what, we make what, the stay better? Do, huh? I want it to stand up. Uh -huh. And then once it's done curing, I want to see if the bottom is completely disappeared within the bottom resin. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, I don't know, it might just be a neat little statue. Okay, what else did we have to do? Let's go to our to-do list. That's a cool idea. Did that just pop over? Mm. Yeah, I'll prop it up or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Sweet. Anna. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. Uh, what else do we need to talk about? Hug, hug. Lately, I've been trying to not watch the news so much, but man. I just gotta stay with my chickens and my puppy. Wanna go hang out with the chicks and the puppies? Puppy? Is, is everything okay? We have, again, Art Resin's made in Texas and we talk to them and they just seem a bit down right now in Texas. It's stressful. It's stressful. So I hope you're all doing good out there. And again, I encourage you. I, I started doing these um, Wednesday videos with Jeff and now Hannah helping and it, it just made me happier because it gives you a weekly thing, a scheduled time where you're going to just be creative and play with stuff. So that, I think that's the cure for the COVID blues for the artist, which most of you are artists. Okay, gloves on. <laughs> Let's start filling grandpa's ax, tacky piece of wood with some resin. God rest his soul. Oh, thank you. Look at Hannah filled it up. Everyone needs a Hannah around. Okay. Cause she gives a, yeah, you a helping hand. Hand. Uh, uh, sorry. Thanks, Jeff. Sorry for the dad humor again. Thanks for that, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks okay. for ruining the video. Okay. How is your family, Jeff? Yeah, good. Everybody's excited to we're going to the cottage this weekend. Yeah, up in Muskoka. Yeah, so that'll be fun. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend, I think. Yeah, we've got the jet skis in the water, so. You have jet skis? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fun. So will, the, take... will the kids go on with you? Like in... uh, I'm gonna make sure that they go on with you safely. There's one that's like kind of like a, a safer jet ski where it's got a, you can put feet, your feet down in the front, so. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but that'll be fun, but yeah, everybody's, everybody's good. Uh, good. Well, I'm just a dog evangelist now, like everyone oh, should yeah. get a dog. It just makes you so happy. I think my kids would lose their minds with happiness. Seeing oh, like Zoe. Sure. So Zoe is uh, Dave's daughter and she was just grabbing the puppy yesterday and just yeah. holding her whenever she could. So cute. She doesn't even let it sleep. She just hugs the puppy, picks it up, talks to it. Just the best. So this is a good trick everybody. So Basically, Dad's, or sorry, Dave's no, call me grandfather, dad. Call. <laughs> basically my dad here, his, uh, our, our great-grandfather, <laughs> uh, carved this out for Dave, and... Uh, well, not for me necessarily, but carved it out well, and gave it to for the someone. Fam. For the fam, yeah, for someone. Or maybe it was on his house or something, I don't know. Let's go with that, it was on my grandpa's house. And then this is a good trick, because Dave just filled this little eyedropper thing with resin and he's now filling it in so it's careful so it's not going to overflow outside of the, uh, mm -hmm. the carve. Uh, and obviously you can tint it. Highly recommend using the resin tint to kind of tint the color. Uh, Brookie, you want to see Jeff's face? No, oh, yeah. I really like being behind the camera. It's so much more fun back here. He's so beautiful. <laughs> he's really beautiful. It's like a mystery. It's like, uh, isn't there a show where you never see somebody? In China? Oh, like yeah. uh, Tim, Ta oh, Tim the Toolman Taylor, right? What do you mean? You didn't see his face? No, the oh, neighbor, yes, uh, the, the neighbor, neighbor, right? He was Wilson. The Wilson, yeah. Wilson yeah, neighbor. I think if everyone saw your face, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to leave your house anymore. <laughs> Pretty sure we'd lose half our viewership. No, come on. Jeff is handsome. Resin, Ruggedly handsome, I'd say. Will the resin hold up on, outside on a sign? Heck yeah. Yep. Probably more than almost, I mean, because we were doing it on artwork, we fo there was two main focuses, um, long-term non-yellowing and safety. So it has, it has uh, UV stabilizers and something called hindered amine light stabilizers. So we kind of went above and beyond to make it uh, um, in the chemical reaction. It completes the bond more so that it doesn't react with UV light. It makes it more like inert. So. Um, yeah, like anything that's out in the sun, the sun always wins over time. Mm -hmm. Nothing on this planet can beat it, but uh, yeah, this resin is, is uh, 
probably the best you'll find. Actually, we have lots of tests. We did the UV weathering tests against like all the other resins, and our, our resin uh, held up the best. We have some stuff, some stuff posted about that. Okay, nice. how did we do? I got a bit out here, but... Nice, looks good. Yeah, I could keep going a bit more. See, so that'll look really nice actually when it's outside too, because the light will shine off that, right? So yeah. you get more of a, you see the curve outside. And I'm just going to torch this quickly. Um, yeah, Maria made a really nice comment, just saying, oh. like, it, it seems like the, you know we're like a family here, or you have, or oh, you have a nice. really nice... And we are, we are very much like a yeah. family, small staff of people that work together and like to create together. Yeah. Really great environment. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, a bunch of artists. Okay, that one doesn't have anything. We'll use this. Do we have a flame spreader in the house? Yes. Boom. So again, this is my favorite, second favorite tool after the wire cutters from earlier. Um, this is a flame spreader. I so it turns your Ooh. it turns your pointy flame into a flat flame. Wow. And I'm just gonna run this over the surface. And that'll just help get rid of bubbles. Boom. That's all I'm gonna do. So we have some resin left. And let's look at our to-do list again. We poured grandpa's, check. Oh, we're gonna put something in the pyramid. We did oh, yeah. the Josie Lewis piece. Oh, we talked about fruit. Mm -hmm. I wanna quickly talk about flowers, butterflies, flowers and butterflies. Demold strawberry, put something in the pyramid. Hannah, can you find something cool that just put in here? Something different we've never tried before? Sure. Just anything? So again, every time we just put an, another something in this uh, pyramid, um, just to see how it reacts. So this is just our experimental one, so. <laughs> Doing good, man. This okay. is, we're giving her today. Oh, this looks so nice. Let's see. Oh, smart. Look at it, standing up. Well, I think someone actually says that. Someone said, like, why don't you use a couple of chopsticks to prop it up, but there you go, Hannah, boom. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about uh, flowers <clears throat> and problems you can run into. So, lots of flowers will lose a lot of their color. You definitely want to make sure you dry it out first before you cast it. Mm -hmm. uh, so find a flower, flower that dries out nicely. Some of them just look dead. Some of them look vibrant. You can dry it out in silica sand. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. Seems to be the best method. Um, what happened to this one? Why did this one get so dark, you think? Oh, pom-poms, great. Those ones weren't dried as much. So this wasn't as dry as much, so yeah. it really got uh, nasty looking. This one is close, it lost a lot of its color. Um, bubbles. Where's the other one? There's another one too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another one somewhere, but... This, bubbles aren't too bad on the petals, but we still want to think a bit harder about, excuse me, how not to have bubbles on the petals. Okay, and then what was this one? This one's really nice, wow. That one turned out pretty good. So this one was suspended upside down in the mold and was done in one pour. Again, we're gonna learn how to get rid of the seam and bring the polish back. So if you have any tips on getting flowers perfect in resin, please help us out with that. We're scouring the internet and there doesn't seem to be like good definitive information on that necessarily. Yeah. yeah, it's been really tricky. But those are, we're getting close. We're getting closer and closer. Um, I'm gonna take one, what one can I take home to practice sanding? Can I take pour, this? Someone's saying pour into petals first, I think is what they're saying. Oh, resin the petals first. Have we tried that? No, we haven't. Okay, let's do that. It upside down, but we can try that. Yeah, let's resin the petals first. Okay, thank you. We'll try that. Um, resin the petals first. So, I'm going to take this home and learn how to deal with this uh, seam and this bottom part so that okay. we have a perfect uh, ball. But that's actually really nice. Okay, so the next thing we're working on, we already talked about the fruit. We have some clear strawberries that turned out just as cool as the yeah, red there? one. Show the contrast here. So here, boom. Yeah. So cool. And look, it even did the leaves on top of the strawberry. That is so cool. Yeah. So that kind of opens up a whole new world. Yeah, this fruit thing is like going to mm. be, it's going to change the world. So that's fruit, it's going to change the world. Okay, so we talked about quickly butterflies, about how if you do it in two pores, you can still see that line. Mm. We were hoping to figure out how to get rid of that, yeah. but we haven't been able to. Exactly, this is in a one part. So the solution seems to be using fishing wire and suspending it in place in the mold. And then, so this was a broken old butterfly for testing. You can 
not even really see, you can't even see the fishing wire like there's fishing wire mm. there somewhere <laughs> yeah and uh, that's great so you can suspend it yeah now there's uh so on this one we put packing tape on either side of the wings and it was kind of the wrong packing tape we, we discovered so we we have another monarch test go go show them the butterfly over here it looks great actually so this is a one pour, right? Is that one pour or two yep. pour? So this uh, is it has fishing wire as well. Okay, holding it from the bottom? Yep. One okay. pour fishing wire holding from the bottom, okay. Yeah. One the goal then is wire. to yeah, eliminate the line in the middle, have it kind of suspended. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, hopefully and that one has a, a packing tape that when you look at the packing tape, there was no bubbles at all on it, a very clear packing tape, right? Or no? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We have to wait till it comes out. Okay. You can kind of see from some angles. Okay, so there's packing tape on that one. So, again, we'll keep you updated on these butterflies, but it seems that the solution is a, a, a clear packing tape over the wings, suspend it in your mold with fishing wire, and do it all in one pour. Okay? So, if you have any tips on that, please, Check out same thing. Artsy Mad Woman, Hannah. Artsy Mad Woman, she has a lot of videos, tips for flowers and resin. I have watched her. She's yeah, I've great. seen hers too. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, good. Sweet. Yeah, thank you for that. That's great. Uh, okay, oh, and then... We also, didn't we have another friend that you resined? That you weren't as big a fan of? Oh, the beetle? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. the beetle. <laughs> so we're taking yeah, another, little, another little guy here. This one's and also attached to the fish wires. So a little crooked in there. There we go. Oh, nice. He turned a little more iridescent in the resin, which was interesting. But yeah, I do have more stuff mixed up. So we're going to put some pom-poms. Thank you. Pom-poms. Pom poms in here. Okay, hey, this is this will be it, won't it? Maybe. I don't know. I'll just do the small ones. Like pom poms. <laughs> oh, you can resin everything. You can resin everything. Yeah. I'm gonna take the big ones out. That there. Yeah, is my candy dish here? We have a candy dish too. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Boy. Oh, they really get dark, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, that's the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. That'll do it. Boom. How'd we do? That's so cool. That is looking so cool. I want, I want, I want an ice fruit sculpture. Okay, we did everything we wanted to do. That's it? That's it. Holy cow. How long was that? We're almost at the 70 minute mark. We're at 60, no way. 68 minutes, dude. That was over an hour? Yeah. And yeah, your battery just showed up. You're low power. Wow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for the questions, the comments, the feedback. And we'll see you next Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Try to go, uh, go for a walk. Get a puppy. Get a dog. And we'll see you next week. Uh, take care.